I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos, for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day. One of the seven angels who had the seven bowls who were laden with the seven last plagues came, and he spoke with me, saying, Come here, I will show you the wife, the Lamb's bride. And he carried me away in the Spirit to a great and high mountain, and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Having the glory of God, and her light was like to a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. The city was pure gold, like pure glass. The city had a wall great and high, and the building of the wall of it was of jasper. And the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, the second, sapphire, the third, a chalcedony, the fourth, an emerald, the fifth, sardonyx, the sixth, sardius, the seventh, chrysolite, the eighth, beryl, the ninth, a topaz, the tenth, a chrysoprasis, the eleventh, a jacinth, the twelfth, an amethyst. The great high wall had twelve gates. The twelve gates were twelve pearls. Each one of the gates was made of one pearl, and at the gates twelve angels, and names written on them, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. On the east three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. He who spoke with me had for a measure a golden reed to measure the city, its gates, and its walls. The city lies four square, and its length is as great as its breadth. He measured the city with the reed, 12,000 stadia, its length, breadth, and height are equal. He measured its wall, 144 cubits by the measure of a man, that is, of an angel. He showed me a river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb in the midst of its street. And the street of the city was pure gold, as it were transparent glass. On this side of the river and on that was the tree of life, bearing twelve kinds of fruits, yielding its fruit every month. The leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. I saw no temple in it, for the Lord God, the Almighty, and the Lamb are its temple. The city has no need for the sun, neither of the moon, to shine, for the very glory of God illuminated it, 
and its lamp is the Lamb. There will be no more night, and they need no lamplight, neither sunlight, for the Lord God will give them light. They will reign forever and ever. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it, and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night there. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. He said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give freely to him who is thirsty from the spring of the water of life. He who overcomes, I will give him these things. I will be his God and he will be my son. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. There will in no way enter into it anything profane, or one who causes an abomination or a lie, but only those who are written in the Lamb's book of life. They washed their robes and made them white in the Lamb's blood, Therefore are they before the throne of God. They serve him day and night in his temple. He who sits on the throne will spread his tent over them. They will never be hungry, neither thirsty any more. Neither will the sun beat on them, nor any heat. For the Lamb who is in the midst of the throne will be their shepherd, and will guide them to the living springs of waters. God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Behold, I come quickly. My reward is with me to repay to each man according to his work. The Spirit and the Bride say, Come. He who hears, let him say, Come. He who is thirsty, let him come. He who desires, let him take the water of life freely. He who testifies these things says, Yes, I come quickly. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus.